Hello everybody, welcome and thank you guys all so much for joining me today. For today's video, I'm going to go ahead and be testing out these Born Pretty um, Jelly-like translucent gel polishes. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just be unboxing these. Here's how the packaging looks. We get six gorgeous, beautiful pinks and red tones. Super pretty. Each gel polish is also 10 milliliters each. And we also do get this little cute user manual that shows us how to use gel polish. Here's how the color looks. Super pretty. This is the first color. As I mentioned, these are 10 milliliter bottles. The bottles are matte and they have that little swatch at the front of the bottle, which I really like. I'm going to go ahead and now show you guys the rest of the swatches. So here are all the six beautiful gorgeous colors. Let me know down below which color is your favorite. I definitely love this BPJR01 color, which is the first ones. They go from BPJR01 to BPJR06. Now let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be going in with these quick gel tips in the style XX Stiletto by the Painted Desert. Again, don't forget to use my discount code PRIS10 if you guys are ever shopping on their website. I am an ambassador for them and I really love their gel tips. And you guys can also get 10% off. And so here's how they look. Super gorgeous. They're super long and just amazing quality. Just look at how these look. Now next, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I use my pull-off base coat for my nails to last me up to two weeks without popping off. So first, I go in with just any cuticle oil. You want to make sure when using a gel pull-off base coat that you do not prep your nails underneath. And you want to make sure that you have no dry um, nails. So here I'm going in and just applying a dab of that cuticle oil. Using my finger, I'm going to pat that into my nails and into the surrounding cuticle area. Make sure you do that very well, just a small amount. You don't need too much. Then next, I'm going to go in with my peel-off base coat. I'm using the peel-off base coat by Now Reserve. I'm going to go in and just apply one very thin coat to my natural nails and cure this for 30 seconds in my lap. I prefer using this gel peel off base coat over an air dry one just because I noticed when using an air dry one, usually the nails pop off while the process of you doing the nails or they pop off while falling. I've been using this one for a month and that hasn't happened to me at all so I highly recommend it. The one thing you also love about this gel peel off base coat is that you have to pop off the nails yourself. To remove these, I actually just go ahead and submerge my hands into some lukewarm water for at least 10 minutes or so. Gently pop them off and you're set and ready to go best thing i like about this is that i'm actually able to wear the set for at least two weeks without worrying about them popping off or anything like that and another thing i really like also is that i do not have to do any soak offs i went in and applied one very thin coat of a top coat cure this for 60 seconds and you're ready to go so here's how my natural nails look after now we're ready to go ahead and get started on our gel application i'm going to be working with this born pretty 601 nail glue i absolutely love this product this came in their nail tips and glue gel kits it's not super thick nor super ready and it's overall very easy to work with. Now using this product, I'm going to go ahead and just apply a very thin coat to the underside of the little guide of my nail tip here. I already went ahead and etched that. I'm just applying the thin coat. Then apply the excess around the cuticle area and then just spread that around very gently. Using my painted desert side winder lamp, I'm going to go ahead and just turn it on. I love this lamp. It's wireless, rechargeable and flexible. In a 45 degree angle, just gently apply that till it reaches the end of your natural nail. Flash cure. Then here I'm going in with my hand file to kind of just crisp up my stiletto shape. I like my stiletto shape to be super sharp. And then I'm going to go in and just gently buff away all that shine from the nail tip. Here's how they look after. Super gorgeous. Now let's go ahead and continue on the gel application. Apply your thin layer first. Apply the excess around the cuticle area. Turn on your lamp. 45 degree angle, gently apply a little bit of pressure till it reaches the end of your natural nail and flash cure. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy watching the rest of my application. Next, I'm going to go into my breaker lamp and now do a full cure of 60 seconds. And here's how the nail tips look after. Super gorgeous. Look at this beautiful shape and I just really love the length as well. My gel application isn't like quite the best, but it's not too bad. And so here's a little view of these nail tips here. Again, these are the XL stilettos. And then here I'm going to go in and just kind of crisp up my stiletto shape a lot more. I like my stiletto shape to be super sharp and crisp. I went ahead and did that to each and every single nail. And here's how they look after super gorgeous and just a very minimal filing needed. Super cute. And here's another little side view. Look at that beautiful apex. 
super gorgeous and also really love that straight um edge it's not curving down or anything like that super pretty now let's go ahead and get started on this set i'm going to be going in on the thumb and just applying a very thin coat of this color here and i'm going to go in and just use several different colors and i'm just going in and just applying little tiny dots here and there i'm going for a pink opal so sort of nail look here so i went ahead and applied several different colors and i'm also going to go in using this aoki tech small little tiny brush here using this brush we're going to go ahead and just pat the gel polish around i'm patting 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 and just kind of not really swirling i'm mainly patting and kind of just mixing them together on the nail tip here very very small little um pads i went ahead and cure that i went in with a thin layer of my base coat then we're going to go ahead and be using this gold foil without curing the base coat just go ahead and apply some of that wherever you like i'm just applying a little bit here and there I went in and then cure this for 30 seconds in my lamp and we're gonna go in and just apply a little bit more of these colors here to add a little bit more dimension and make it look more like a pink opal using a brush again just pat pat around kind of just mix the colors a bit here and there if you have any excess gel polish on your brush just go ahead and wipe that away here i had a little bit too much red so i went in applied a little bit more of this color to brighten up the area just like so and next we are not going to go ahead and cure this yet we're just going to go in and apply some of these gold foil flakes here and there. After that, then go ahead and cure. Once it's been cured, I'm going in with my Born Pretty Super Top Coat and then cure it for 60 seconds. Now using this color here, I'm going to go in and just apply three coats of this color. I only showed me applying two, but I applied three coats. Then next, I'm going to be using this brush to create an ombre effect. Using this color here, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it one third down the nail. You guys can see I'm just applying this color here and then just kind of smoothing that out towards the free edge of the nail. Using my brush here, I'm going ahead and just gently kind of pulling that drop polish towards the free edge very, very gently. I went ahead and then cure that and we're going to go in with the second coat. Now with the second coat, we're going to go ahead and apply it more towards the center of the whole entire nail. So in the middle, I'm just kind of dragging that out. I'm applying a little bit more than usual just because this color is a translucent um, color. So I'm making sure that I apply a little bit more. Okay, and we're just going to just gently drag that out. Gently, gently, and look how beautiful we get that ombre transition. I went ahead and cured that, and I went in and then applied a third coat of that. Drag that out, and look how beautiful that looks. I went ahead and then cured that as well. And now we're going to go in with the 6-in-1 nail glue here. Applying a very, very thin coat, and without curing, we're going to go in with this gorgeous holographic glitter. And using a brush here, I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of apply this randomly through the entire nail here. Very, very gently. Then after that, I'm going in making sure that they're laying flat. And we're going to go in and then cure this for 30 seconds. I'm going in with that 6-in-1 nail glue and just encapsulating that. And look how beautiful this looks at, after it's been cured. Super pretty. And after, we're going to go in with our Born Pretty Matte Top Coat. Apply one very thin coat to this gorgeous nail. Then cure this for 60 seconds. Onto the next nail, we're going to go in with this color here and I'm applying three coats again as well. I went in with this color here, we're going to go ahead and be creating a French tip and from the center of where I applied the gel polish, I'm going upwards towards the right corner here to create a French tip and I'm going downwards towards the left center of the nail to kind of create our little smile in here. Super pretty, it's kind of hard for me to kind of actually see if I'm applying the gel polish exactly where I wanted to just because this color is translucent. But at the end of the day, I was really happy with this color. Here I'm going in with the second coat. Again, we're just applying that towards the free edge of the nail. And then just suddenly pull that up towards the right corner to create a little French smile line. Then I'm going in and pulling that towards the left um, little side wall there. Round that out. And then after I went ahead and cured that. Now we're going to go ahead and be using these gorgeous 3D um, flowers and we're going to go in with these gorgeous pearls. I'm going in with my Born Pretty Super Top Coat applying one very um, thin layer here and then without curing that top coat we're just going to go in and apply our flowers and our pearls. I ended up actually taking off those two little big pearls. I just went ahead and did little small ones at the end because I really didn't like little bigger pearls. I think they looked a little bit odd. So I just went in and applied that, then using the opposite end of my wax tool, I'm going in and just making sure that they're okay. Then cure this for 60 seconds. On to the next nail. Again, we're just going to be doing that pink opal design. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy watching this and then I will be back shortly.
Onto the pinky, I also went ahead and did that ombre design again, so I didn't want to show the same exact design all over again. So I went ahead and just applied some matte top coat. Without curing our matte top coat, I'm going to go in with some 3D flowers again and some little tiny pearls around there, then cure for 60 seconds. So before I actually go ahead and show you guys the final set, I do want to go ahead and give you guys a closer look and better lighting at these gorgeous swatches. I 100% recommend these gel polishes they're perfect especially if you're looking to do that opal or crystal nail look super pretty and super easy to work with um finally here's how the set turned out let me know what you guys thoughts are about this set i absolutely had so much fun i actually went ahead and freestyled the set when i got to work because i had an idea and i didn't really like the, my ideas that i had so i ended up just freestyling it and i am super happy that i did because i was a little bit hesitant of how these would come out but they turned out pretty great and i hope you guys also like them if you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below if you are already not subscribed. I would really, really appreciate it. And also, don't forget to let me know which nail design was your favorite or which tutorial did you guys find the most helpful or useful. Also, don't forget that you guys can use my discount code PRIS10 if you guys want to go ahead and purchase these XL Stiletto Quick Gel Nail Tips. Or if you guys want to purchase that Sidewinder lamp that I used to flash cure the nails into place, you guys can purchase that at PaintedDesert.store. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye and thank you guys also so much for joining me today.